Hi, welcome to third part of this video. So in this video, I will calculate the contrast of ABD, then effect of ABD and sum of square of ABD. So this is the column for ABD and these sign will help us to calculate. So you can see that in front of this one, I have a minus sign likewise in front of C, uh, if I'm not on mistake. So I have again a minus sign. So you will have to first look at the, that which term has minus sign and which of the term has positive sign in respect to this column. So we can see that this A and B, these, these two, they have the positive sign. So right here, A plus B, then plus sign, then look down, this plus sign is associated with AC plus, then this plus sign is associated with BC, then plus, and then uh, this plus sign is associated with the D plus this plus sign has been associated with ABD plus please make sure that the value that you want to calculate it must be positive in the column for example if I want to measure the uh, calculate the CD so the value that is representing the CD must have the positive sign look at there uh, if we come down, so this value is positive and if we go there, we have CD. So CD will be always be positive. Then uh, we look for this second one, uh, this value is associated with the CD. So plus CD, then plus uh, the last one, A, B, C, D. Close the bracket, then insert the minus sign. Then you will have to write all those values that are with the, pause, that are with the negative, sim negative sign. So now uh, I have written the, all those values that have minus sign just like you can say 1 plus this a b c a b plus c a b c a d a b c plus a d plus this one is a c d and then b c d so a c d plus b c d after that I have to put the values of all so in front of you can see uh, this a the value comes out to be 71 this is a so I have to write now all of the values then b I have uh, 48 so this is b and this is b so right I will write here 48 a 71 b 48 like this and then plus a c so I have to check a c is equal to 60 likewise we have to write all of the values that are written there and then we have to perform the calculations in the calculator after calculation i found that contrast of a b d is equal to 33 so i will write here contrast of a b d now in order to calculate the effect of a b d i will have to use the same values so the formula for the effect of ABD is equal to contrast of ABD divided by 8 and contrast is 33 divided by 8 and this N is the number of replication. I have one replication so I got 4.125 equal to the effect of ABD. Now we can, we can find the sum of square of ABD. So this will be equal to contrast of ABD divided by 8 uh, divided by 16 sorry now it will be double divided by 16 and whole square so i will write here 33 whole square divided by 16 multiply by 1 and this control sum of scale equal to this is equal to 1.18763 so that was the method and if you uh, see the book so you will find in the book that the contrast has been divided by eight and there and also this term has been divided by eight n okay but i have taken the eight n common from both of the uh, terms and this eight n has been written there so don't get confused from the book and this lecture so estimates of all of the effects their sum of square and percentage contribution have been shown there the percentage in order to calculate the percentage contribution first you will have to calculate this total sum of square of the total so Take the sum of all these values and then you can calculate the percentage contributions. 
Once you have calculated these percentage contribution, now please go for, look for the highest percentage contribution. We have the highest percentage contribution associated with A that is 32.6397. Now compare all of the values in comparison with the A. So you think you got that 0 0.0. Uh, 681 is too small, 0 0.0010 0 too small, 0 0.393, 0 0.0098, 0 0.0088, 0 1.18, 0 0.184, 0 0.400, 0 0.131. All of these values have too small or too negligible percentage contribution in comparison with the A. So we can neglect all these values. In order to do so, we draw a normal probability plot for the factor effect and you can see that the those of observation or values that have a significant effect they deviate from the central line so these values you can see that a c d a d and a c these are found to be very significant away from this line and they are also very significant all of them have a very high percentage contribution please remember a c d a d and a c so in this table we can see that A has percentage contribution of 32, then C has the percentage contribution of 0, uh, 6.80, D has percentage contribution of 14.92. These are very high percent uh, values for having high percentage contributions. AC has a contribution of 22.92, AD with 19.29. So we keep only these values in our model and we delete or we drop the rest of the all of the terms after i drop out all of the values that are found to be insignificant i have again calculated the anova analysis so we can see that it contains only those values that are found to be significant all of the values has p value less than 0 0.05 it shows that all of these main factor effect acd or two factor interaction effect or this three factor inter interaction effect is found to be significant the terms that we have dropped out from our model they pulled up in order to make this error term. So now we have some of here for the error. The eight degree of term associated with the error. It means that we have dropped out eight terms from our model and we got our MS error value equal to 22.24. Earlier I have told you that with one replication we do not left with any degree of freedom for the error. So in that case we do not uh, be able to make this ANOVA table in the start but we have to follow the procedure for, by making the initial model then refining and after we get our final ANOVA table. Further these are the main effect plots. In the main effect plot we can see that with the increase in level of A from going from minus to plus there is an increase in the filtration rate again. Similarly for the C with the increase in the level of factor C there is an increase in the filtration rate because the value is going upward. Similarly for the D again the plus sign or the higher level has an increase in the filtration rate. So in order to maximize the filtration value we have to select the higher upper or higher level of the factor parameter or factor or parameter A, C and D. Further these are the interaction plot. As you can see this interaction is uh, between the factor A and C and this one is between the factor A and D. Or uh, as these lines are crossing each other so by looking at at a class, we can see that there is an interaction, significant interaction exists between AC term and the term AD. So that was all about this video. We will conclude this lecture in the upcoming video. That's, that will be the last part.